Hola! Here we are again. The internal USB hub and the Kraken Z73 water cooler I.O. with LCD water cooling coolness. So, as we know, if you've seen the last video or you probably found your way here, your LCD screen on your cam wasn't working, and here's another fix for it. This internal USB hub, which they will send you for free if you complain to them enough, um, or it's like 15 or 20 bucks or something like that. Um, it is a little bulky. Um, I have already fit it into my system. Um, if you don't have one of these and you don't really think you're going to get one of these, go see my other video about how to potentially fix the cam because it's actually a driver issue. Um, you got to uninstall the driver and then replug it in and just go watch the other video. Um, there's another guy who does a good video on it, Michael Knowles. Uh, you'll find him in the comments on my other video. You can go to his channel. He has a bit more in depth of a video about the drivers and um, a bit of a wiring USB header issue you might run into if you have an ASUS board like we both do, which is the Crosshair Hero 8. Um, the X550 boards, I think is what they're called. Uh, X550 or XB? XB50? I can't remember. X350? I can't remember. Um, they're just, they're, they're new and they're beefy and they're kind of expensive. So it's a little funny that this Kraken has incompatibility issues with it. But anyways, so the Kraken, I mean, the internal USB is pretty easy to set up. It's a Molex, so you have to have a Molex adapter, which is, you know, kind of silly. I don't know why it's not just like, a, I don't know, SATA or something. I don't know. It seemed a little funny to me. Let's go look at it. Here it is. It's sitting in there right now. I'm not going to pull it out and re re get it in there. That's the power for it. Kind of similar to, I don't know, it's just that one pin power you see on a lot of stuff. Here's the pin running into the Molex adapter. And Molex adapter is a four pin Molex. So this is a male. So you'll need a female Molex adapter if you have a modular power supply like I do. So modular power supply, male end to female Molex. And that's what you'll need to adapt to the USB header. So here is the USB header cable, micro USB cable that runs directly into the cam. Now that's running into this USB header. And then this is a USB double female connecting to here to the motherboard. So I will say as soon as I plugged it in, the cam reset. This is also magnetic on the bottom. So be careful of where you place it. Ah, oh boy. So that's why I didn't want to open this up. I magically got it all to fit and, uh, and it closed nicely and now it doesn't want to. And I'm not, I'm not being blessed twice here, especially with one hand. I'm only getting one magnet. Well, I will fix this when I have two hands. This this nice big old thick threaded cable isn't getting in the way. So we'll do that later. Because you're YouTube. You don't have much time. Anyway, that fixed it. So go ahead and get the internal USB HUD. As you can see, it's fixed. The settings are open for changing the um, GIFs in there. And uh, one is running right now. So it fixes it. It works around whatever issue the ASUS motherboards have, and you shouldn't have a problem after that. Uh, if you have any questions about the installation or what you need to do to get a hold of one of these with talking to the NZXT staff or whatever, just put them in the comments below. And uh, good luck, and uh, enjoy your water cooler AIO with the LCD screen. See you later.